Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third annual No DQ Royal Rumble Pool. I am, of course, the Pennsylvanian sensation, the longest reigning wrestling trivia challenge champion of all time, and No DQ's resident Royal Rumble expert, Greg Cherry. Now, this is something that I came up with many, many years ago. Um, as you know, if you've watched the videos before, and it's just a fun little game to have while you're watching the Royal Rumble because it, it just adds a whole new level of excitement to watching what I believe is the greatest stipulation match of all time. Because not only does it, it, it invests you in the match a little bit because you want your number to win. Regardless of who it is, you're like, okay, uh, here comes number six, and it's maybe Seth Rollins again. And last year I actually got number 10, which Seth Rollins entered, and I won the uh, No DQ Predictions Championship for that month. Fitting that I won it for the Rumble. But this year, we have all 17 No DQ personalities competing in this match. Now, the numbers that I pull are going to be good for both the men's and the women's Royal Rumble matches. So there's no double pull this year. Maybe in future years we'll consider it. Pull a couple numbers for the men's, pull a couple numbers for the women's, but we'll see how it goes. But this year, since there are an odd number of uh, entrants in this match, as, as far as this pool goes, there's going to be a couple overlapping numbers for those that got a later number in the draw. And you'll see, you can see the first couple up here uh, before we start. And as you can see, I didn't even make the top five or six. But it's okay. Because when it's all said and done, it comes down to luck of the draw anyway. So, that being said, I got the 30 numbers here in my trusty hat. I don't have any like technology things. I wanted to do it the traditional way. I wanted to do it, draw the numbers out of a hat. What you see is what you get. No, no facts and figures this time because you don't want to hear me blather on forever. I'll just give maybe a slight bit of commentary after each number, but 17 people to draw for. Let's see what we get here. Making sure I don't cheat. The first person to get a number is one of the ladies of No DQ, Aaron. So, Aaron, here is your first number. Big and deep. And you have number, oh my gosh, really? Number one. That's the first time I think I've ever done that, drawing number one first. But Aaron, you at least know you have Brock Lesnar. As far as the women, we don't know, but uh, for the men's, you got Brock. So, not actually a terrible number, surprisingly. But, uh, well, we got Brock out of the way. That was, that was quick. Next up is uh, somebody else I defeated on the Trivia Challenge, one TJS. The, hey, here's the shirt. Here's the next shirt WWE is selling. In the Nota Q chairs. And TJS has number 12. The middle numbers aren't great for the Royal Rumble, but uh, I don't know, last year 10 won for the men, so it's really a crapshoot. Next up is the uh, 2019 No DQ Predictions Champion. He won the entire year. He like, crushed everybody. Son Goshuaku. Hope I said that right, because I'm, I'm terrible with pronunciation. But here you go, son. We all get a clean slate this year, so maybe one of us will uh, surpass him. And son gets... Number four. Okay, Sun gets an early entrance as well. Next up, fourth in the order is one K Fape Candy Ass. Boston's favorite no DQ person, because it sure as hell ain't me. And K Fape Candy Ass, what do you get, brother? You get. Number 20. I like number 20. That's a, that's a good pick for you. All right, next up, the owner, 
creator, everything else of NoDQ.com. One Aaron Rift. You got fifth in the order. That's not terrible. Um, still a lot of good numbers in there, though. Let's see what you got here. And you, Mr. Rift, have a really good number, 24. People have won from 24 before, so that's... I'm pretty sure Hogan actually went from 24. Might have been 23. I don't know. The, num the numbers start to overlap the more rumbles there are. Next up is Big G. Big G, my fellow Steelers fan. And you, sir, have got number eight. Now, Randy Orton won with number eight 11 years ago, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. Next up is my buddy, T Fame, former NWA East Tag Team Champion, and for a cup of coffee, the NWA East Three Rivers Champion. Let's see what you got, T-Fame, for your first number. I get to see him Sunday, too. He's actually going to be here for the Rumble, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Number 14, which actually, it's funny, 14 used to be like the cursed Royal Rumble number because whatever entrant had 14 like had a horrible year. It was like the Madden curse of Rumble numbers. But then in 2018, Shinsuke Nakamura won the Rumble from number 14. So, might be a little recent to repeat the numbers, but who knows. Next up in the number 8 position is the greatest wrestling trivia mind of all time. A man who has his own Teespring store at teespring.com slash stores slash, all one word, Keystone Delight. Hit me up on Instagram. It's in my bio. Follow me on Instagram at PA Sensation. It's me, Greg Cherry. And after all that putting myself over, I'm probably going to get like six or something. Probably should have put a line underneath the six and the nine. Yeah. I got 11. I don't like that number. I got 10 last year. I got 11 this year. Ugh. Oh, well. It is what it is. Next up is a former No DQ wrestling trivia champion in his own right. All the way from Halifax, Nova Scotia. It is the one, the only, Medium Cats, Chris Cats. And Cass gets lucky number 13. There have been some good entrants at number 13. Not number one, but some good entrants. Following Chris Cass is another former No DQ Wrestling Trivia Champion. He is the Rocket David Diaz. Rocket Dave. Rocket Dave. I don't even know the lyrics to, like, parody that song. Oh, I dropped the number. And, Mr. Diaz, you have number 15. I'm getting a lot of the early numbers. So a lot of late numbers are still available. Next up is another one of the ladies of No DQ. It is Caitlin. Caitlin. Future Mrs. Rift. Let's see what number you get. Is 2020 going to be your lucky year? 25. I mean, I'll take that all day. I can't because I drew 11, but 25 is a good one. Oscar won from 25 for the women a couple of years ago. And rounding out the ladies of NoDQ, it's Cindy G, the Cindy Darling. She's a big indie wrestling fan, get it? Okay. Sometimes I wonder how much I ramble. 
And Cindy's first number is number 18. HBK won from number 18 in 1996, so not a bad number whatsoever. Next up is everybody's favorite columnist, the most controversial person in the no DQ galaxy. It is Virtue. Virtue, the outspoken. I, I need more of a catchphrase for you, Virtue. But anyway. You got, if I can open the number here. You got what they say every year is the luckiest number in the draw, number 27. Although 23 also has four uh, winners from it now. So Virtue gets the lucky number 27. Next up, we got Stephen Osborne. Another long-time NoDQ contributor. Here's your first number, good sir. And it's the number Seth Rollins won from last year. Ty Dillinger's favorite number, number 10. Which I know I only flashed 8 because I'm still holding it. Whatever. But 10's not a terrible number. I doubt it'll win two years in a row, but 30 did. Next up is... The only four-time Wrestling Trivia Challenge champion in history. A man who has contributed to NoDQ.com for almost 20 years. And the man who now has his own podcast network. Go check it out on Anchor.fm. The podcasts have been a lot of fun, by the way. I've been on several of them. It's Jeff Meacham, the West Coast professor. So go follow him on Twitter and Instagram, at underscore Jeff Meacham. Go listen to the podcast when you have a chance. Good stuff. And Jeff, first number you get. How fitting. Our favorite Royal Rumble. You get the number Ric Flair drew in 1992. Number three is your first number. Coming up next is one Robbie Vice. You can see him on uh, Virtues and Vice's brand of wrestling. They do a lot of good stuff together. And Robbie pulls out number 23. Man, the Virtue and Vice connection, both of them getting the uh, number that has won more times than any other. And leading out, rounding out the pack, not leading out because he's the last one in this. Jerry Slaughter, which he might actually laugh at because it was a running joke about the predictions poll last year. How he always seemed to pull up the rear. Sorry, Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. And you got lucky number seven. We'll see if that number is, in fact, lucky. Now, we're going to go back through the pool. And we're going to draw the second number for Aaron. Lady Aaron. Makes her sound like a princess on a fairy tale. Lady Aaron. Should be her new gimmick. And Aaron gets number one and number 28. So at least she's got a number that people want. She's got two numbers that people want from. Batista won from this twice. I was at the second one. So is, so is Travis, actually. All right, TJS. Let's see what you got here. Now, a lot of these numbers, all of these numbers are going to go back in the hat, too, to determine uh, the last few there. Because, obviously, we only have 30 numbers, and we're not going to job the people out of uh, getting two numbers. So a couple people will have shared numbers. I believe this is number six. Just looking at the shape of the number, number six. Might be nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's six. 
unless I already marked six or nine down, but I don't think I did. Nope. I need to get a pen because I'm using these numbers for Sunday too. I need to get a pen and uh, draw a line under the six to be able to tell. Son, you've got number 17, brother. Also not a bad number. I don't think anybody's ever won from it. First time for everything. All right, kayfabe candy ass. Who's looking forward to watching the Super Bowl at home just like the Patriots. <laughs> uh, I know the Steelers didn't even like the playoffs, but I don't care. Number two. So, Kayfabe Candy has got number two. Aww. But hey, McMahon and Mysterio. Both of them won from two. The medium boss man, Aaron Rift. Draws number 19. The big dog and John Cena. Reigns and Cena both won from 19. Which I'm sure is thrilling for you to hear. Alright, Big G. He has a previous winner. Let's see what happens here. Big G gets... I know I put... I think this one's actually six, and the other one's nine. So TJS, I'm going to give you nine, and I'm going to give him six, because this looks more like a six. They look exactly the same, so I can't tell. Sorry, Big G, I'm kind of jobbing you out there a little bit. Almost six wins that I just helped you out quite a bit. T-Fame. Let's see what number I get you, brother. Got you. Number 22. Seamus and Triple H both won from 22. So I did you a big favor. I'm going to do nothing for me. I'm going to get like five or something. So I don't think five has been pulled. Or I give myself number 30, baby. Yeah. I like it. Give myself the surprise factor of number 30. Yes! That makes me happy. I know 30's not going to win, but I don't even care because I, I just like the fact that I have the very last person in both rumbles. That's awesome. All right, Cass. Let's see what you got here. You got 13, and you got 5. I was a pick late for number 5, but you got number 5. But hey, Stone Cold won from 5 and 97, so you're fine. All right, Mr. Diaz. Let's see if I can't get you a better pull than 15. Pretty sure there's still, uh, I think, 29 still out there somewhere. Two here. There we go. 29 still out there. 26, I believe. Well, 29's not out there anymore. I told you it was still out there. So 29's a good one. Edge and Brock Lesnar. Both of them drew 29. All right, Caitlin, let's see if, see if you can't get another late draw. You, know you might be sitting around the rumble be, waiting like, hey, you know why? Where are all my people? 16, so you have to wait for the first 15 entrants, and then you finally get one. All right, Cindy. Now, we, we are down to Cindy, Virtue, Stefan, Jeff, Robbie, and Jerry Slaughter. Ooh, cool. I set a record for my calorie loss today. Thank you, Apple Watch. So, Cindy... You are either 26, 
or I'm trying to think what the other number is missing. 17 maybe? Or, no, I guess it's 21. I don't think we pulled 21 either. There's 26. Cindy, you got 26. That's a good number. And Virtue, that leaves you with the only remaining number in the hat, which is 21. I was right, it was 21. So now, with all these numbers pulled, I'm throwing them all back in the hat. So, Stefan, you, Jeff, Robbie, and Jerry will have overlapping numbers with somebody. Let's see if I can dig in here. As long as it's not number 10. Nope, it's 26. You and Cindy are sharing a number. Jeffrey, let's see what we can't get you because unfortunately for you, all the numbers are back in here, so you're not necessarily guaranteed a good number. Oh, jeez. I am so sorry, Jeff. I am so sorry. You're kind of screwed. Um, Jeff has three and four this year, which... For anybody who's a fan of Jeff, if you have your own rumble pool going at home, I would not bet with him. Not that I'd necessarily bet with me either, but uh, three and four are a tough row to hoe. Robbie, you got 23. What are the odds of doing that? You already have this one. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. You're not getting double points if they win. That, that doesn't work. So I. So obviously I have to pull another one. Look at that. See your consecutive numbers are at least a little better than Jeff's. As long as Jerry doesn't pull eleven or thirty, because I don't feel like sharing my numbers with anybody. And Jerry has number five. Man, tell you what, Jerry, your your luck is almost as bad as Jeff's. All right, so there you go. And just to recap, let's go back over those numbers again. Aaron, one of the ladies in ODQ, has number one and number 28, both decent. We know she has Brock Lesnar, so there's that. TJS has 12 and 9. I wouldn't exactly uh, be in TJS's uh, bandwagon for that one. Sun Goshuaku has number 4 and number 17. I don't really know about those ones either. 17 I'd be leaning a little bit more towards. 4 is going to be a little tough, especially with the men's rumble. Kayfabe Candy has is number 20 and number 2, so... You have whoever's first to go up against Brock Lesnar, and it might be the only one. Maybe that person wins. You don't know. Aaron has the uh, first set of good numbers, 24 and 19. I like both those numbers. If, if you're a betting man, if you're a betting person, I guess, because it's not just dudes that watch this channel, uh, 24 and 19, betting your money with Rift would probably be a good thing. Big G, eight and six. Ugh. Sorry, Big G, I couldn't do you any favors there. T Fame, 14 and 22. Numbers of one before. Will it happen again? Not bad picks. Not bad picks. Yours truly, 11 and 30. We know 30's won three times. 11's never won. Last year, 11 was Titus men's, and I believe Zia Lee in the women's. So, 11 is not that great of a number, but it's the number I got. Chris Cass, number 13 and number 5. Like I said, 5 has won before, so stranger things have happened. Uh, and 13 won too. 13 won with Duggan. 
I probably said 13 hasn't won before, but that's a lie. The first one ever, Doug and Marvel 13. But there was only 20 in that one, so there you go. David Diaz got some decent numbers, 15 and 29. Not bad. Not bad numbers at all. Halfway through and then, like, right before number 30. It's not bad at all. Caitlin also didn't do too bad. She's got 25 and 16. Those are both... Those are both pretty good. Cindy, Cindy G has got 18 and 26. I like those ones. I think, well, we'll wait till we get to uh, Virtues, because I think Virtues got the best set of numbers. 27 and 21. Out of everybody that I pulled for, Virtue probably has the best set of numbers. Cindy's probably second. Um, Aaron probably a close third. Uh, rift, that is. Um, but Virtue's got solid numbers. It's really solid numbers. I like those. Stefan Osborne's got number 10 and number 26. The 10's not bad. Maybe a woman's going to last a long time and win this year. Um, 26 could also potentially be good. Jeff. Three and four. Sorry about your damn luck. <laughs> That's all I got to say. It's possible. It's definitely possible. I don't see it in the men's. Uh, the women's possibly. Maybe Charlotte enters three and wins. Repeats the feat of her dad from 28 years ago. We don't know. But looking at it on paper, it sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Uh, Robbie Vice. 23 and 22, consecutive numbers, both of them in the uh, last third of the draw. Again, not bad numbers. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And Jerry Slaughter, uh, I, I almost feel like these numbers are fitting. Uh, 7 and 5. Uh, again, you're, you're in the Jeff Meacham boat there. Sorry about your damn luck. Well, that's the numbers I pulled, and uh, we'll see on Sunday who wins because these numbers are good for both the men's and the women's rumble. So, and there's crossover there with a couple of you, but we will see this Sunday. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out everything. Go check out my Instagram page at PA Sensation. Um, go follow Jeff at underscore Jeff Meacham. Um, and Jeff Meacham Podcasts, which is also on Twitter and Instagram. You'll find you'll find it with his page. Um, you'll find it with stuff I'm tagged in, too, on Instagram. Um, buy a shirt, teespring.com slash store slash Keystone Delight. You can get this lovely thing right here, um, along with several other shirts that I have up there. I left Pro Wrestling Tees because they, were, they limit the design. That was really weird. Um, but Teespring, I can upload anything I want, any day I want. So I got like eight or ten designs up there. So go check them out. Um, and as far as everything else, Wrestling Trivia Challenge is coming back. I'd like to thank the people who have already responded uh, to me about that. Got quite a few people interested. So that's awesome. So uh, WTC is going to come back in a big way. Um, and hopefully they'll be right here on the NoDQ.com channel. Um, if not, it'll probably be on either Jeff's channel or my channel. So we'll see where that lands in due time. And until next time, good luck, everybody. Let's rumble.